Okay guys, so in this video we're going to be analyzing the Universal X86 tuning tool with this particular setup hardware that you just saw. RX 470 and a Xeon CPU, very old CPU and a very old graphics card. So here we go, showing you guys we have high settings on the Killing Antidote, a free game that you can play on Steam. And this is what I'm showing you is the native 1080p high settings. So we're not doing any upscaling or, or anything. This is high settings and from what we can look so far, okay, we're having some, some of the um, creatures, bots coming into the picture. So some of the video will be demanding here, for example, this scene here. But um, overall, we're looking at, we're averaging about 87 frames per second on average we have a max of 97 and about 70 minimum as minimum for FPS um, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the 1% lows uh, but there we go now we're going to show you the magpie FSR which is part of this tool uh, so we got an idea and instantly you can already see I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that I'm using the same setting, but do note that I'm doing upscaling here, so I've decreased the re resolution in the game itself, and I'm having the uh, program do the upscaling, but you can see, look at that, we're at 140 frames per second currently. Minimum 130, roughly 144 average. Um, I've took, I took a number of takes on this, uh, so i just uh, been showing you the uh, some activity here, fighting some of the zombies. Um, but impressive numbers. It's it's basically doubled. Again, as you will see, this is very dependent on the game itself. Some games are better optimized than others, uh, as you will see later on. But um, this is one of the games that I would say is pretty well optimized. Um, again, remember, we're dealing with a very old graphics card, a very old CPU. And here I'm showing you the actual program, the Universal X86 tuning utility you can see my Xeon processor with my old AMD graphics cards and here I'm showing you the settings a balanced uh, resolution scale and going back into the game and um, just showing you some different parts of the gameplay uh, here we actually had a low of 27 frames per second I died and I had to go back in and I guess there was a, maybe some more activity happening either on my computer but again um, it will depend of course on the game and the parts of the game so now we're gonna go into Fortnite chapter 5 season 3 and again I'm gonna show you the settings here this is the native 1080p low performance everything low settings and um, let's just take a look here so from what I'm seeing, we're averaging about 140, 130. Um, currently, the average FPS is around 150 something. Um, again, um, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the 1% and the 0.1% lows, as I was um, when I die, I have to restart the recording, so it's not a full fledged uh, instant uh, benchmark. But I am showing you portions of the benchmark here, so different parts of the map of this game will be more demanding than others but you can see that we're averaging about 160 100 and it can go down as bad as 60 frames per second or 66 frames per second a, a max of uh, 240 frames per second on this particular round uh, 160 180 170 130 so it, it's uh, Fortnite unfortunately is one of those games that there's a bit of shuddering, right? It's a multiplayer aspect to it. And um, again, all right, so now I'm gonna show you Fortnite uh, with the windowed full screen 1080p again. Again, this is native, except we're using the windowed full screen. I wanted to show you guys a side by, well, didn't do a side by side comparison, but I'm showing you how, it, how, the, how the FPS may change or not change um, if you go decide to go windowed full screen versus actual full screen uh, but we're getting very similar um, numbers 150 140 100 it's averaging about 150 frames per second um, had a max in this particular case 212 um, the previous round that I did I had I got up to 240 so again it really depends sometimes what part of the map you are how if the game is optimized or not 
but overall, you know, it's it's playable. Can remember, we're dealing with a, like older, more than 10 years old CPU, a more than old 10 years old uh, graphics card. So keep that all in mind. It's pretty impressive. You can play these uh, modern uh, games uh, on such an old soft, uh, old hardware, I should say. Now we're going to do uh, the Magpie FSR in Fortnite, uh, making a, taking advantage of, you see, there I'll show you the resolution. I downscaled it inside the game so that I could use the Magpie FSR to upscale it. And I'm here uh, almost at a 1080p. Um, Fortnite, for some reason, when you go to the windowed, uh, it doesn't, uh, it gives you some weird resolutions. So anyway, but instantly, look at that, over 200 frames per second. Uh, so obviously, the um, this little tool, the x86 tuning uh, tool uh, with the Magpie enabled for the upscaling, it's it's beneficial. It it is giving you a nice. Again, guys, this is amazing. It's amazing um, that you can even get over a hundred, over 200, or even in some cases 240 frames per second. But um, we'll analyze this a little bit more. Um, but overall, very happy with uh, this little program. Again, it's going to be subjective. I will say, since we're doing the upscaling, um, I did notice when I was playing it, it's not as pretty as if you do the native, right? Because um, obviously, you're having to. And for this to work, you have to set a lower resolution inside the game, and then the upscaling will help help you uh, take advantage of the lower resolution in the game, but still you'll be able to see it on the normal resolution that you like. But again, here I'm showing you the um, the um, the system information, uh, same computer that I was testing earlier, and um, same same settings, same exact settings. I'm f using the balanced resolution scale. I think it's 59%. And um, but yeah, that's the only feature that you can. Uh, I'm not even. I'm not actually tuning my c computer. I could make. I could make this even much better. But I just wanted to show you guys a free tool that if you decide you don't want to get too complicated with tuning the CPU, the graphics card, uh, optimizing that. That if you just want to stick to the simple upscaling using the Magpie, it does a very nice job. As you can see, in this particular round, I got a, a, a max FPS of 266. Again, basically, we're 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 looking at about a little slightly over 200 FPS easily. Uh, so again, you don't have to have the latest and greatest hardware. You can play Fortnite competitively and be able. So now this is the uh, another game, demanding game. Uh, where we're going to analyze the different percentage uh, resolution scale using the Magpie, and this is of course the native 1080p ultra settings. I liked. I, I really wanted to max out this uh, this uh, this hardware, this old hardware. Use ultra settings, but you can see we're looking at hovering around 30 frames per second. It's um, currently is averaging 40, but um, essentially, you know. There we go. So um, now I'm going to show you with the Magpie. This is a 33%. So this is performance mode or ultra performance mode. 33%. Uh, you can see, wow, we're getting poof, very nice FPS considering that this is, again, ultra settings and uh, very, very satisfactory. Uh, this is a uh, top-down game. Uh, it's not the th so much three-dimensional. It is three-dimensional, but not so much like Fortnite and like the other game, the Killing Antidote that we looked at. And um, again, this is, um, you can see how this is performing. Uh, let's see, I hope I remember to include, there we go, the 59% resolution scale. Um, the previous one must have been the, f I forgot, I forgot. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm doing this uh, in real time. So there you go. You can see the numbers. Uh, they are decreasing. The numbers are obviously decreasing because we're increasing the resolution scale. We're increasing the percentage. So we're getting a little bit closer to the native. And this is now 67% resolution scale. And, you know, the, the FPS is dropping because, again, it makes sense, right? We're increasing the percentage of the resolution scale and therefore the FPS will start going down, right? When you have a um, lower percentage, you're gonna have achieve a higher FPS. So here's the uh, basically the uh, high quality of it. It looks uh, almost the same as the actual native. 
and uh, you see, but it still beats the native. Look, we're averaging of 50 frames per second compared to what we were getting, the 40 frames per second. So uh, now we're going to go into Once Human, another demanding game. And here we have a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, we have the native 1080p. On the right, we have the upscaling. Again, just using this tool, the Magpie feature that comes with the x86. Uh, but yeah, you can see the FPS is, is, is better on the right side. It's, the, um, it's with this tool. The one on the left is the 1080p native. And uh, about 50 on the left, 40 in some cases. And looking on the right, we have 80, all close to 90 at some cases. So average on the right is 85. Average on the left is 60. So we're talking about getting like well over basically 20 frames per second better if you decide that. Uh, again, when I was playing this, it looks nicer, the image on the left compared to the one on the right because the upscaling is happening but if you if if fps is important to you and you want to get as high fps smooth as possible uh a tool like this that's completely free is is worth it in my opinion uh if you like eye candy then maybe this is not the right tool for you but if you're on old hardware then i would recommend that uh you consider this tool uh but that's it let me know if this was helpful i will see you guys on the next video Food for thought.